Yup. It is Friday, a wonderful day. Uh, it's freezing outside. It's probably um, 19, 20 degrees outside. I'm surely praying for the homeless and um, all of those that uh, don't have electricity and things of that nature. So my prayers go out to them. I, I don't have a lot of time, but, um, you know, I just wanted to make a quick announcement and then we'll dive into it um, next week. Um, but I'm not doing anything else on relationships. I think that we have um, tarry too long in it. Uh, you know, we've talked about relationships for months, you know, even though it is my uh, my favorite topic uh, because I love relationships. But I think that we need to go somewhere else with it Come as we approach 2017. So uh, with that said, I, I'm going to end uh, these next couple of weeks. We're going to talk about lessons learned, lessons learned, according to me, um, <laughs> you know, things that I've learned in 2016. Um, and then in 2017, we're going to talk about success. Um, the first couple of months in 2017, we're going to talk about success. I don't know if many of you know um, that I've had... Like, couple of businesses um, and I have failed in a lot of businesses I probably lost this is, this is like no exaggeration I probably lost about 150,000 minimum and um, I want people to learn from the mistakes that I made so we'll talk about that in 2017 uh, uh, but look 2016 let's start it off um, so let's talk about um, success Success. One of the things that I've learned in 2016 is not it, it is the definition of success. One of the things that I've learned in 2017 is the definition of success. Uh, and this was just something that, did, that was just learned yesterday. <clears throat> years ago, I mean, years ago, I used to be a part of this one of those pyramid things. Um. And I had like a stand in the mall. I don't know if you guys remember uh, Body Magic. Um, it's what it was a girdle, and the girdle. Um, it was a girdle stand that I had uh, in um, the mall, along with my other stand. And uh, a person with whom you know started the business or whatever. Uh, I saw a picture of her the other day, and uh, now she's a millionaire. She's a millionaire, and I'm not a millionaire yet. We started, she kept going, different ventures. My, what happened with me was, I took a landslide. I went all the way south. Not, by, not because of perhaps anything I've done, but just life. My purpose is different. So I saw the pictures and um, I said, dang, you know, she's a millionaire, you know, got the roles, getting a big house, you know, red bottom shoes, so on and so forth. And I thought to myself, my, you know, my feelings went there for a second because then I started to think about, you know, where perhaps I may have failed at, what did I do wrong and how come I'm not that millionaire yet? She's ascended and... What happened with me was, from a financial perspective, uh, from an overall perspective, I descended when you look at it, when you look at it on the outside looking in. And I'm saying that to you because you are, you, because where you are is not where you will land. Let me give it to you again. Where you are is not where you will land. Just because you started out with somebody and they assume to be successful, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not successful. Success has its own definition and success is according to the definition that you give it. I've seen some of the most successful people um, be not, not, you know, it's not the richest people. When you chase money, when you chase things, when you chase clothes, when you chase houses, when you chase things of that nature, that's the quickest way to make you feel unsuccessful. Let me give it to you again. When you chase money, and these are my thoughts, when you chase money, when you chase clothes, when you chase 
uh, things. That's the quickest way to make you unsuccessful. Why? Because that's your point of referral. That's what you refer. That's what you will always refer to. And that's what your feelings are attached to. So what that means is, is that if you're and I'm teaching this, uh, if you're if my referral point is in a car and hypothetically, if something happens to my car, then my emotional level goes down, then my feelings about myself go down when I lose something. In my referral point or my attachment is to that thing, then when that thing goes, I feel like crap. And what I'm saying to you is, is that you can't con and in order to be, you know, the lessons learned, you can't allow things to make you feel a certain way. You can't refer to things. It's called object referral. You can't uh, uh, I think Decamp, uh, uh, Deepak talked about that. Uh, you can't refer to things. Why? Because things are transitory, just like feelings are. What does that mean, Cook? Th transitory feelings are things that just come and go. Your feelings come and go. You might feel pissed off right now, but then be happy tomorrow. And, and it's the same thing with the car. Everything is, life is steadily evolving, so you can't attach yourself to things. And so as with my friend, she's a millionaire. I went all the way down. I ended up on welfare. I ended up on medical assistance. You know, I ended up feeling like crap. Only to be raised back up. Why? Because my self-referral, who I am, what I began to think about myself started to arise and make me feel better. And then they had what's called the law of attraction. I gave off a certain energy that began to attract stuff. Did you hear what I said? And a question that I have to ask, what energy are you giving out? When you wake up this morning, don't look at the pocketbook. Don't look at your pockets and only see a penny and you feel like crap. You can't allow that to happen. No. If you see one penny, you got to see $100. It's a penny in physical sense. But you have to imagine more. You have to come out of that thing. You can't look at where you live at. And determine that's the zip code that you're residing in. That's not the end all say all. She went up. Big car. Big, big bank account. And I went down. But our purposes are different. And whenever you look at the scheme of things. What's your purpose in life? Where do you want to be at? Where is it that you want? Stop looking at everybody else and start looking at yourself. Where am I going to be and where do I want to be? Stop looking at your pockets and let that be the determining factor of how you feel. I'll continue this. Holler at your boy.